Hi everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be talking about building and analyzing conversion funnels. Having someone visit your site is just the beginning. You want them to use the site more, sign up, and become a customer. Funnels are a great way to analyze this with a goal of improving it. And PostHog makes it easy to set them up and use them to analyze your conversion. So to get started with funnels, we're going to go into our PostHog app and create an insight. And we are going to first go over to the funnel tab. And here we're going to create the funnel. So every funnel needs multiple steps. We're going to use two steps between the home page and the tutorials page. So to get the home page event, we already have a page view event here. We're just going to filter this where the current URL is equal to uh, post hog dot com great and now we're going to add a second step again we're going to use the page view event and we're going to filter this where the current url contains posthog.com slash tutorials so here we'll get a basic conversion funnel between the home page and a page view on tutorials. We can make this go left to right like it is now, or we can go top down. So I'm just going to flip it to top down for now. And that is a basic conversion funnel. So now that we've created our conversion funnel, we can edit it a little bit. We'll see here that we have two page view events, which don't really tell us that much about the funnel. So if we wanted to use this on a different page, it would just be a bit confusing. So we're going to edit the names of each of the steps. So the first page view step, we're going to rename to home view. And the second page view step, we're going to name tutorial view. Next, I'm gonna show you how to filter your funnels. So to do this, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna to go to filters. We're gonna click add filter group and then click add filter. So what we're gonna filter here is the UTM source. So we just want people who come from Google. So we're going to filter the UTM source to equal Google. And now we'll have a funnel that just includes people who so UTM source was from Google. So that means they visited the postdoc site from Google. And we see that we have a lot less people, but our conversion is higher. Next, I'm going to show you how you can break down your funnel. So you can break down your funnel across all different types of properties. We're going to remove our filter and we're going to add a breakdown. So we're going to break down by continent. So continent name. When we click this and go back up, we'll be able to see the different continents that a person has visited from. So this one is Europe, and then we have North America. Uh, if we switch back to the left to right display, we'll get different bars for each of them, and we'll get a different conversion for each of them. So now we're going to go over some of the advanced features, first being uh, the step order. So right now we have it sequential. So this will take any of the steps. So if there's any steps in between the home view and the tutorial view, that's OK. If we just wanted to see directly how many people went from the home view to the tutorial view, we can set this up to strict order. And we'll see that our uh, conversion drops off quite a bit. So we have a whole bunch of people visiting the tutorial page from the home page, but they take a bunch of steps in between to get there. So we see that sadly only one person has been from the home view to the tutorial view over the past uh, seven days. Uh, so we don't have many links between two, which is why the conversion is bad. And that's why we care about the sequential order. So if we had more than two steps in our funnel, we get some more advanced options that we can use. We can use the conversion rate calculator. We can switch this from overall conversion to relative to previous step. And since we only have two, it doesn't matter too much for us. But for larger numbers of steps, this could be useful. We can also add exclusion steps. So this is if we want to exclude different steps 
and different events from the conversion funnel. So for example, if someone was to go to the support page in between visiting the home page and the tutorial page, we wouldn't want to count them. We can add this as an exclusion step here. So that's all for this tutorial on funnels. Uh, I hope you learned something here. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or join our Slack community at posthog.com slash Slack. And also check out posthog.com slash tutorials for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. Thank you.